If like me, you've had the situation that in your Amazon seller account, and this can be any country in the world, USA, Europe, and Australia, and so on, that an item is no longer active because the price is outside the parameters you set, or Amazon has deactivated your listing because it's outside the parameters they think are reasonable, then the way to find and reset that is you go to inventory as you look at the top left corner of the login screen when you've just logged in you see the amazon seller central logo in the top left below that you'll see inventory just touch inventory and even if it's fba inventory you don't go to the fba inventory screen you go to the top selection which is manage inventory so that's very important because it's very frustrating. You're on the FBA screen, you can't find this. That's because it's not there. So touch manage inventory, just loading. And here we go. And then if you just look under the title manage inventory, uh, go down and you'll see all is currently active. Um, then you've got the active, then inactive. So you want to press inactive and that will just reduce the clutter on the screen. You can see what is not active. And if you look down the left-hand side column of the screen, it says status in blue. And as you look down, you'll see this one highlighted in blue, inactive potential pricing error here. So um, that's where you'll easily find what's been. So here, the reason is because it's in euros and Amazon wants euros putting in with a comma, not a dot. So when I wanted to put in 35 euros 99, it came out as 3000. Um, so actually on this one, I've not set a limit. If you look here, these two boxes, these are where you put your limits in. So you can put a limit of a minimum of, let's say 20 euros and a maximum of 50 euros there and we can save it and just to clarify for anyone who's not quite sure these numbers are only to help Amazon or you detect when you've input a price that's wrong it doesn't change the price it doesn't work as a tool to compete with others within those price ranges that's a completely separate thing this is just to avoid putting in a price that's too low or too high by mistake. Once you click save, those parameters will disable any listing of that particular item outside of those two numbers. And so what I would want to do here is delete that, uh, put three, five, then a comma, and then 99, and then save, and that would be resolved. So I hope that's been helpful. If you've got any questions, message me in the box below. If this video has been helpful, please leave me a like and um, that just helps me be able to dedicate more time to posting stuff which is of use.